So I want to give a little quick demo of the quick capture and processing workflow to give you an idea of how this works. So this is a collaboration with a TFT hacker. So thanks to him for helping me get this stuff started. So throughout the day, um, I like to take notes about random things. So if I'm working on something and then I have an idea, I can hit my global hotkey that I set up in Keyboard Maestro like this. And basically I had it set, set up. Oh, wow. It looks like Loom takes a screenshot with that hotkey. Anyway, so I have it set up to automatically uh, open up my Obsidian Vault, create a new note just the same way I would with a Zettelkast and note, resize the window so that I can see whatever I'm doing, and then automatically move the cursor down so that I can start writing whatever my idea is. And so maybe I'll see I'll write, like, uh, getting ready to set up the write-up for the forum post would be good to include screenshots. And then that's just my note. And you can see here um, it got put in this to process folder. And I can add notes to this folder in any way, however I want. So I can also use little cast and prefixer to add another note um, or just make a new note and put it in that folder, whatever I want. So over the course of the day, I might have, you know, 10 or more of these notes. Um, and a lot of times after I take the note, I'll go and give it a title. So, um, you know, I might have some idea of what, you know, is going on in each of these. Um, but I want some way to kind of take action on each of these notes as I have them, because one of the things that I've found is that um, in previous workflows, I'm not actually very good about processing these notes and they sort of just like kind of sit in my database. So I want to make some sort of decision about what I want to do with each note. So for example, with this note, I might say, okay, um, this is something that I want to make sure that I do in the forum post that I'm working on. So I might actually just open this up and say, okay, well, this is the forum post that I'm working on. So I might like go ahead in here and say like put a task, like make sure to include screenshots in forum post. And so now it's like, okay, well, I've written that down now, so I don't need this note anymore. So I think on uh, this case, I'll just trash it. So what I've done is I've set up uh, three different templates so I can choose to quickly trash, quickly archive, or quickly move a file. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and trash it. And so now that file will be in my system trash. So I can find it again if I accidentally delete it. Um, and now this is the Zettelkasten note that I made. Um, and with this one, I think, you know, I might want to uh, not delete it, but have it as in my archive. So if I search for something, I could find it later. So if I want to do that, I could instead hit, um, I'll give it a name um, so I can show you where it winds up. But so then if I hit the archive button, it will go into my archive, which is down here. It'll say here, filming loom video. So it's in the archive. Um, and the really nice thing is that each time it's opening up the next note for me to process. So then my last note is untitled. Um, and so for this one, I say, okay, maybe I want to move it to one of my project folders. So I can go ahead and move that to my project folder. Um, so that's how it works. And then uh, once it's done, it just keeps the old, the last file open, but it's a quick way to process everything that comes in. Um, so quick to get in and then quick to process and get out.